toughest thing I've ever faced in my career it was probably a barrage of Dale Stain bounces here at Lords last summer. Um, yeah, I think he had it in for me. I managed to hit him in the first innings um, when I was bowling, unintentionally, obviously. Um, and then I think it was his mission to try and get evens with me. So, yeah, I, I faced probably five or six overs of Dale Stain. Um, pitching everything uh, in order to hit my head, so that's probably the toughest thing I've faced in, in a cricket match so far. I think I'd probably still be a student. I'd have enrolled on some sort of post-uni course somewhere and I'd still be trying to work out what I, what I wanted to do now. I've, I don't know. Journalism interests me a little bit, um, uh, but I don't know. I don't think I'd have been um, an overly good journalist. So, yeah, I've got no idea what I'd have done. Is there any other sport you might have played? Uh, basketball, maybe, or football, but I was, never, I was never great at football. I enjoyed basketball, but I think it was only because I was seven foot tall that I got picked. I don't know, um, I don't think I'm in a senior enough position to be um, saying when we do the sprinkler, so I think that that's someone up to Graham Swan or James Anderson to decide, I think. Um, we'll have to get in touch with them and ask. The most memorable moment of my career has been getting my name on the honours board here at Lords. Um, having grown up watching Middlesex play here when I was younger and then growing into the first team and sitting in the dressing room and seeing the honours boards and seeing people's names on there. Um, I think having, you know, in 2010 to get five for against Bangladesh and get my name on that board and now every time I go into the dressing room and I can see my name on that board, that's, um, that's probably the proudest moment and best moment of my career so far. Virat Kohli from India is tough to bowl to. Um, Shane Watson from Australia is tough to bowl to as well. Um, you know, there, there's a whole heap of batsmen out there that that have um, that have caused me problems in the past. Um, but I don't think I, I don't think there's I can't think of any particular one um, that stands out from the rest. But I think that there's you know there's various people who who've caused me problems in the past. I think, again, to the one that got me my fifth wicket here at Lords against Bangladesh, it was a little edge to Matt Pryor and he caught it. Um, up the slope at Lords, see, that was, that was probably one of the most memorable ones. My first test wicket, um, Shahadat Hussain in Bangladesh, caught by Paul Collingwood at slip, was probably memorable, um, or is memorable. And um, I think that Mike Hussey on the fifth morning of the Adelaide test match in the 2010-11 Ashes, um, is probably yeah one of the most memorable in my career because that got us our foot in the door that morning. So um, yeah, it was probably probably up there. <laughs> I I enjoy spending time with the lads because we, we're lucky to have a good bunch of fellas who can um, who can all have a laugh together. Um, unfortunately, some of the time I'm the butt of the jokes. Um, but I think that now that we've got younger people in the team, uh, they can start becoming the butt of the jokes. So, um, yeah, that's, that's wearing off a little bit on me. And, and now it's my turn to take the mick out of the younger blokes. So I think I enjoy that. So I, I'm not in control of the iPod, unfortunately. Matt Pryor's got a playlist on his iPod that, um, that gets played before the game. But I think the vast majority of it is American rappers um, Rapping down the microphone at us, um, but I don't. I'm not sure how happy people like Swanee and Jimmy are with that. They'd prefer some Oasis or or something a bit more mellow. Um, but I think that there's a there's an uprising in the camp of the R&B artists, and uh, yeah, at the moment it's R&B that we listen to before we go out. <laughs>